are you doing here? Well, I'm uh, chatting with a friend. Go on then. <clears throat> Is it good? You're 13 minutes and 52 seconds late. Finish your food, then we can go home. But I also ordered chocolate cake. Waitress, water please. Did you even bother to think about what my friends might think of me? If they laugh at you, then they're not your friends. You shouldn't care about what other people think. You and I are not fit for each other. And I will never marry again. How about this? My friend King is a very outstanding guy. I can hook you up with him. <laughs> That is uncalled for. Ma'am, here's your water. Mm, thank you. I need 15,000. Why do you need so much money? I need to buy a new guitar. The old one has a problem. I just got you a new one last year, and it was expensive. Why change it again? It's 15,000. It's not a lot, and you can afford it. There must be a valid reason if I want to change it. You don't know music, so don't even ask why. I suppose you're right. But you shouldn't be addicted to music. You're a high school student. You should focus more on your studies, instead of wasting time on such things. Do you want to make a living by music in the future? Mom, you barely have any time to spend with me lately. But with the little time we do have together, you bring me down or accuse me. Is it so hard to say something nice? Every time we see each other, you always ask for money. You have been living high on the hog. Don't you know that 15,000 is a lot more than what most families make in a month? Listen to me, Harry. You're not a kid anymore. You should consider planning for your future. I just want the money to buy a new guitar. It's not like I'm planning to do something bad. I mean, have, have you even tried to be a good mother to me these past few years? Work is more important to you, isn't it? It's fine if you don't care about me, but don't lecture me about my future. Hey! Waitress, check please. Harry? Harry? Children nowadays. Little delinquents, huh? Huh. Right. Like father, like son. So, how have you been all these years? I've been good. Looking at you right now, you haven't changed much.
Hey, Dad, what's up? Where are you? I've been calling you all night. I had an argument with Mom. I'm avoiding her, so I turned off my phone. Your mom's gone. Come to the hospital now. I shouldn't have gone on that business trip. Had I been here by her side, then maybe she wouldn't have run out of medicine. Was it you, Dad? Did you call the ambulance? I had been talking to her mom over the phone last night. That's when she had an attack. I don't understand. Didn't she have her medicine with her? How come she... The company had a crisis recently. Her mom was highly stressed. She probably forgot about the medicine. It was my fault. If I reminded her about it, then maybe this wouldn't have happened at all. It wasn't your fault. It was my fault! This happened because of me! I'm looking for a grave. Harry, I truly didn't expect for our relationship to turn out so bad that we couldn't even talk to each other calmly. I'm not writing this to give you a lecture. I just have a few words to tell you. You were right, Harry. I have no right to criticize your life. These past few years, I have paid very little attention to you and focused more on my work. I failed in my business. I've invested a lot in the company, but it's now going bankrupt. I'm not directly involved in the company's illegal operations, but as its legal person, I'm responsible. I know you have a talent in the arts, but I don't want you going down a hard path. Music can make you happy in life. If you take it as a hobby, it can be a source of fun. But if you want to make a living out of it, you'll find that life can be extremely hard. I don't want that for you. I have already deposited money in your account for your education fund. It should be enough to finish your studies. Go choose the major you like. Don't care about what I think. I love you and trust you unconditionally.
What's wrong? I'm quitting. You shouldn't have thrown water at the passenger's face. You're my husband. I was bullied back there and you just stood there watching the whole time. All right. I'll make every decision by myself from now on. You know that I'm not only your husband. I'm also the co-pilot. Well, I can't agree with you on that logic. You value your profession more than me, more than my dignity. You can fight for your dignity in many other ways, but you don't have to risk your career. I was not acting on mere impulse. Dignity outweighs everything, Jack. Including love, profession, even marriage. You'll have a day off soon, right? I'll go home and pack my things. I'll see you then, at Civil Affairs. Under heavy leaden skies A land so fair and magical That's greener than your eyes There's wild here in the water And there's mischief in the wind Sure we're blessed to call it home It is an honour to defend Since I was just a chiseler There's a bounty on me head Come on! Liven up! Move it! Good. Mr. Doing much better. You have a phone call. Oh. Okay. Good. Alright. Keep practicing. What's up? <laughs> so you're back. Uh, please buy a bunch of calla lilies. It's for a funeral. I need you to go for me. Whose funeral is it? Why don't you go there yourself? I'm very busy here. Hey! Can you keep it down? Shh. So, who died? It's Vicky. What? Vicky? Is... Is that news really true? It is. Well, one of my old colleagues sent me a message. Actually, I saw Vicky last night. She looked really good. This was unexpected. Oh man, sorry. You haven't seen her for over 10 years, but you saw her before she died. I feel so bad for her. Had I known this would happen, I would have apologized to her last night. Then you should go to the funeral. You should be there, not me. I'm unable to change my shift at work. I made a mistake. I'm in trouble, so I can't leave. All right, fine. So, did you buy the things I asked you to get for me? Yes, of course, my lady. They're in the suitcase. And did my brother buy anything for me? <laughs> Your brother is a pauper. What can he buy for you? He spent all his savings for the vacation we took together. Before I came back, I had to give him some money my dad gave me. Oh. Uh, what? Oh! Uh, hey, what are he... you doing? I'm sorry about that. Didn't he buy you a ring? Didn't he propose to you? Uh, propose to me? There was no sign of that at all. Well, it must be because he hasn't found a job yet. You know, because he wants to guarantee you a beautiful future. That must be the reason. Don't worry, he'll propose soon. <sighs> he was good to me the whole time. But during the trip, I met an annoying guy who got on my nerves. He almost caused me to drown in the ocean. Really? You have to tell me more then. I'll tell you about it when we get home. Oh, I feel so sorry for you. Listen, Jack. I heard you rejected Wendy yesterday. It's a good thing we're not working with her crew today. Where did you get this news? Everyone's talking about it. It's pretty big news. The work we do is hard, but you still have time to gossip. It's because the work is so hard that we need to find an outlet, just like gossiping. You can't take pleasure in others' pain. It's unbecoming. But her pain, Jack, had been caused by you. Had you given in, it would have been a happy ending. Poor Wendy, really. Had I known it, I wouldn't have encouraged her. Don't give her any more lousy suggestions. 
Hey, Jack, it's a fine day today, and there aren't that many flights. The tower should have let us take off. Things didn't go right for me, uh, just recently, so I'm guessing this is another setback. Do you have another pair of sunglasses that I could borrow? I do. This must be the first time you don't have yours with you, huh? So what? Where are they? I don't know. I was wearing them the whole time in Australia. Then I lost them. But you seldom lose those things, am I right? <laughs> Hello? Oh, okay. Jack, we have a problem. They need you in the cabin. Okay. Are you mentally challenged or something? Please, huh? lower Shut your, your voice, your mouth! Sir. I've been waiting for more than an hour! We haven't taken off! Please, calm huh? down. What's the Please, problem? Uh, captain. Hello, uh, excuse me. I'm the captain of this flight. You can tell me what the problem is. There's no need to shout at them. Okay, then you listen to me. Mm -hmm. I'm very dissatisfied with this flight. I want you to tell me why this plane still hasn't taken off yet, huh? So this passenger is very angry because of air traffic control. Why didn't you tell me about this much sooner? It's not that. He slept right away after boarding the plane. The thing is, he was holding an economy class ticket and I wanted to remind him of it. But he got angry because the plane hadn't taken off. Uh, look, Mr. Luol. Sorry for the bother. And I'm sorry for the flight delay as well. However, it's not right that you yell at our flight attendants. The reason I am angry is because I slept after I got on the plane. And when I woke up, I thought we had arrived! But it hadn't even taken off yet! It's a one-hour flight, but I've been waiting for an hour already! Will you be responsible for my losses? And you, will you pay? Oh, please, Listen, down, sir. sir. We're all very anxious, but the Air Traffic Control Center hasn't given us clearance yet. Hey, is it because you've managed to offend the Air Traffic Control staff? I, they won't I, let you take off because they're pissed at you? Did you do something to make them angry, huh? I may be inconsiderate and make people angry. I'm not perfect. But what I never do is shout at women. Captain. Listen, the tower gave us clearance. Oh, Mr. Luo, the tower has now given the clearance for takeoff. Then what are you still doing here? Get back to work! Before we proceed for takeoff, you must go back to economy class and apologize to these ladies. Apologize? Why should I apologize to anybody? This flight attendant disturbed me and woke me up! And you, you've kept me waiting! Are you going to pay for my losses? You're a terrible captain! Fine, I will ask you again. Will you apologize? Don't you know who I am? You want me to apologize? I have a very important contract to sign today. Will you be liable if my deal doesn't push through? Listen, I want you to find out if he has checked baggage. Get it off the plane and inform security personnel. I want him off the plane. Jack, just leave it alone. If we delay any longer, we'll have to wait all over again. Condolences. That's Anna Leo from the finance department. Sorry for your loss. Thank you. I'm sorry. Vicky dedicated most of her life to her career. She achieved great things and made a name for herself. She sacrificed a lot of time with her family for it. From now on, Harry and I will carry on her unfinished work and move on with our lives. Uh, excuse me, sir. Forgive me for being inconsiderate. May I know who you are? How are you related to Vicky? Oh, I'm an old friend of Vicky's. Oh, may I ask for your business card? Okay. My deepest sympathies. Thank you very much.
I've done what you asked me to do. I really don't like sorrowful occasions like that. So how was the funeral? Were Vicky's family members there? The funeral was all right, but there weren't many people. It is what it is, I guess. She's dead, so she won't feel any sadness. She won't feel any more fear and pain either. She's finally free. Too bad for her kid, though. By the way, Vicky's husband is a bit strange. He asked me for my business card. I'm not in Shanghai. When I get back, let's meet at Uez Bar for a drink. See you. Yes. They're all mine. Everything's mine. Oh no, your new sunglasses are broken. What sunglasses? I didn't buy Here, any. Here, see? They're, they're broken. It's a limited edition. Oh. It belongs to the annoying guy. Be careful of the broken pieces. Mm. Are you going to return them? But it's broken. Just forget it. No way I'm seeing that jerk again. Hey, hmm? tell me. Do you think it's okay if I go up to Australia? Weren't you going to bring my brother back? Why are you why are you going there? Well, I just think that we've been living apart for way too long. So now I want to pursue the love of my mm. life. You're right, Olivia. The question is, will your father agree to it? When I tried to enter Walton International, he also didn't approve of it. We eventually reached a compromise. If working in Australia will make me happy, then there's no way he will stop me. Tell me, when did you decide to suddenly make marriage your life's goal? Isn't becoming a super smart teacher your real goal in life? I can still pursue my goal, even if I go to your brother in Australia. I'm so good they'll want me anywhere. Uh, I know schools will want me. And anyway, I don't want to have your brother come back here because of me. If he wouldn't come back on his own, he will put the blame on me and resent me. But what if you're the one who ends up resenting him? Well, I'm different from the others. That won't happen. I'm the master of my own fate. Once I make a decision, I won't blame anyone else for it. Oh well, it seems you've already been brainwashed by my brother. You happy girl. <laughs> I am happy. Hello, Mr. Jung. Come see me after you've landed. Um... I didn't expect that to happen so fast. Jack, how about we go with you and talk to Mr. Jung to testify? No need. This isn't the first time. We'll just talk. You should all reflect on yourselves, too. Don't wait for an issue to arise, then it'll be too late. Next time, check the tickets carefully before the passengers board. You got that? Yes, I understand. What's this? That is our airline food. You should learn more about the front line. Is that the best we can do? 60% of our food just goes to waste. It tastes bland and affects our company's image. But I think what is worse is all the food waste we produce. Don't change the topic, Jack. Complaints about food are the least of our concern. I've also got a complaint. It's from a Platinum Card member. Against you. I know that. But he doesn't get to accuse me. Did he mention that he was shouting at our flight attendants? Did he mention that he sat in first class with an economy class ticket? You could have simply just sent him back to economy class. Why did you ask him to apologize? Mr. Jung, the dignity of our crew is also important. In our profession, zero complaints and accidents means dignity. You know that. Listen to me, Jack. Others would have just picked the fruitcake to take and then just leave it at that. But you had to pick on the toughest one yet, didn't you? Why did you offend him? Don't you know who he is? He's an online influencer with tens of millions of followers. After he posted on Weibo, his numerous fans commented on our online page and in all our posts. This is very bad for our reputation. We just had an issue with your passport, and now you're bringing me more trouble again, Jack. He should behave since he's a public figure. You shouldn't take advantage of his fame. He's just confusing his followers by not knowing what's right from wrong. 
I think it's absolutely shameless. There are way too many morally bankrupt public figures out there. Can you handle all of them? Do you think you have the right to do that? I don't care what kind of man he is. The company's in a very bad situation. Some fans have already started a campaign to jointly boycott Skyline Airlines. So now, what should we do? Do you know how hard it is for a company to restore its reputation? What shall we do? I wonder. You need to apologize and ask for forgiveness. Just swallow your pride. I will find a way to suppress the news. Apologize to him? Impossible. Yes. I have hundreds of thousands of fans. I can confront him. I'll post the details of the whole story online. It's easy. How can your 10,000 fake followers stand a chance against his 10 million? Save it and don't make more trouble. If you want to keep your job in this company, don't say a word online. Or let me put this another way. You shut up. Shut up? You're enabling wrongdoers. You shouldn't allow him to get away with it. You want to do office work? And no flying? Okay. Pick any table in the ground staff department. I can easily have it arranged. If this matter escalates, you'll probably be prohibited from flying an airplane for a very long time. Although your flying skills are truly excellent, many of the company's leaders are not happy with this attitude of yours. All I'm asking is that you keep a low profile, Jack. If you happen to mess up again, I won't be able to protect you. Here, he can borrow my notes. <laughs> okay. We're done, Miss Lin. Just put them there. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, Miss. Are you busy, Miss Lin? Oh, Miss Wang. May I help you? Ah, uh, well, I wanted to ask you if you could do me a very big favor. You happen to have friends in Australia, right? Oh, yes, I do. Do you want to travel there? Um, no, I don't. It's my daughter, Susan. A Sydney University accepted her. Oh. She'll be going there in a few days. Great, congratulations. <laughs> the thing is, she doesn't really know her way around there. Could you ask your friend if he could please pick her up from the airport? That's not a problem. <laughs> I'll call him and tell him later. Oh, Miss Lin, I appreciate your help. <laughs> Wait, is she planning on living in a dormitory or will she live off campus? Well, she wants to rent a house that's off campus. She oh. looked online, but she hasn't had any luck finding one. Oh. And I'm starting to worry that she might not be able to find a place by the time she arrives. Don't worry, you will help her. I'll tell my friend to ask around there. <laughs> How can I ever repay you? <laughs> <laughs> no need. You've helped me a lot already. Oh, okay. Well, thank you again. <laughs> no problem. I'll okay, leave you to your see work you. then. Bye. Huh? Bye bye. <laughs> bye. Hey, are you waiting for a free dinner? Huh? <sighs> Come on. How can you be in the mood for jokes? This is a serious matter. Hey. Tell us, will Mr. Jung punish you? Uh -huh. I knew it. I should have stopped you from doing that. Maybe we could have avoided this. I doubt it would help. That guy needs a lesson. I should have done that ten years ago. What's that? Have you fought him before? Forget it. It's nothing. Mr. Jung told me to keep a low profile from now on. He thinks I'm high profile. That means I'm like some kind of Superman. But how can a Superman keep a low profile? You can! Just like that time when you damaged your passport. Look, Jack, no offense, but you should lay low for a while. Your flying skills are much better than the other captains. That's true. You had nearly zero accidents in 10 years. You should have been promoted much earlier. But you're much too straightforward, Jack, and that's why you never had the chance. You're still flying planes instead of getting a promotion. Me and the guys over here feel sorry for you. All right, all right, that's enough. Look, I'd much rather die than sit in an office desk and rot. I may be frustrated in the workplace, but in... Love? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Just maybe. I'll have better luck in love. When that day sure. comes, I'll treat you to dinner. Okay. I have to go. Okay.
Stop crying now. Your mom's gone. Be more sensible. I asked her to buy me a guitar just before she passed away. She lectured me about it. People always do things they regret later. But a man who's mature will do fewer things that he will regret. It was all my fault. If I had not been so silly, then things wouldn't have ended up this way. It's, it's really all my fault. Look, it was not your fault. Will your mom rest in peace if she sees you like this? Harry, I'm leaving. Where are you going? You are turning into an adult. <laughs> you should learn to take care of yourself. What are you saying, Dad? For all these years, you've been living very comfortably. You've had a good life, but you never learned any useful skills. You don't even know how to cook noodles. Will you put water or noodles in the pot first? You can't even cook the easiest meals. How can you live independently? Dad, I can, I can start learning these things in the future. Where, where are you going anyway? I want to go with you. I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't lose my dad after losing my mom. The company went bankrupt. And our family is broken. Our relationship as father and son has now come to an end. What? What on earth do you mean by that? Mom is gone now, and maybe you're sadder than I am, but what are you- It's time to tell you the truth, Harry. Your mom was already pregnant when she and I got married. Although I've been raising you for 16 years, I'm not your biological father. But that's impossible, Dad! But... You, you took care of me when I was sick. When I got pneumonia and was hospitalized, you stayed by my side. You were there for as long as I can remember. How could you possibly not be my dad? Haven't you ever wondered why you don't take after me or why you don't look like me at all? And why our temperaments are totally different? But... but... You came to parents' meetings in school. You also accompanied me to, to sports meetings. I used to wonder if mom was my real mother, but how could you really not be my biological father? What you said is true. These past 16 years, I've been playing the role of a father wholeheartedly. I have done everything I could for you and your mother. Now it's time for me to live for myself. What? I, I called you dad. I called you dad for 16 years. How, how can you deny a relationship? This is the card you've been dealt with. Life's cruel. You will learn to face it one day. Anyway, it's time that you grow up. Is he coming or not? I'm going to leave after this drink. What's the hurry, Phil? Oh, he's here. You're drinking. We've been waiting. Yeah, could you hand me a glass? Are you allowed to drink? I have two days off. What happened? You've been punished again? What's life, anyway? Life, the way I see it, has two stages. There's the first half, and the second half. When you live through both, it will soon end. Best case scenario, you have over 30,000 days at most to live. Okay, listen. You can die at any minute, at any second. Your life is never really under your control, you know? It's all really a matter of how and when. Vicky's an example. 
You never know what'll happen the next day. I don't agree with you. You see, medically speaking, death is just an endpoint of life and one's metabolism. It comes in three periods. Dying, clinical death, and biological death. Enough. Now, cut it out with the nonsense. You're not even a doctor. Although I'm not a doctor, I have the ultimate responsibility to communicate this medical knowledge to you. But you're a good student. Why are you grinding coffee beans instead of working in a hospital? Don't rub it in, Phil. Come on. It's because of those unreasonable medical disputes. So I just left the industry because it was okay. really- Okay. Sorry, but will you two stop acting like kids? Yeah, get me some ice. Oh, okay, sure. Come to think of it, who on earth would have thought, huh? On the verge of becoming a successful entrepreneur, Vicky suddenly died? We're only in our 30s, yet death becomes a possibility all of a sudden. At least you got divorced once, but I was never officially in love. Never in love? Didn't you just break up with someone last month? I even went to sing karaoke with you the entire night. We sang all the sappy love songs there were. We sang Break Up Peacefully three times. I hear Three you. times, man. It wouldn't help even if he didn't want to break up, because every time the girl broke it up first. <laughs> oh, come on now. If I say I'm the second best boyfriend, no one will dare to say that he's the best one out there anyway. Am I right? I'm worrying about those women and I happen to be a really excellent man. I have a house in the suburb, but I have no hostess. Also, I have a nice car, but I don't have a co-driver. Am I right? Even my company mandolin will be listed soon. You really can't go a day without showing off before us, huh? What is the problem with that? Don't worry. Bad people live longer. You will outlive all of us. By about 10,000 years. <laughs> Why are you making fun of me? Did something bad happen to you? That's right, something did. I offended some person on the airplane today. He's an online influencer. Here, check this out. You can find it posted online. It distorted the truth. He only posted part of the story. Bossy captain drove passenger off the airplane. That was you? Yeah, I'm bossy. This kind of man should never be a captain! I even felt guilty for breaking your sunglasses. Now I don't plan to return them at all. You'll get this pair. You evil person! Hello? Hey, Zed. Let's get a drink somewhere. It's been shared like over 20,000 times already, Jack. People will think that this information is true. Why did you suddenly do that anyway, huh? I didn't act responsibly back then. Vicky was bullied. I finally made up for it. Now I can fully understand how Vicky felt and why she decided to leave me. All right, fine. But are you going to get fired for this? I've been working most of the time. If I get suspended because of this, I'll consider it like a long vacation. It's not that big a deal. You can come here, write novels in my bar. Yeah, I can write novels right here while drinking coffee. I can become a man of words. Yeah. Man of words? You're not even that literate. It won't work. I have an idea. Okay, how about you come and join my troupe? You can play the guitar, be my accompanist. I mean, you are also good at that. Do I look that helpless to you, Phil? What makes you think that I would be your accompanist?
些河流放，心中是骏马和猎场，最了不起的脆弱，迷惘不过就这样。天外有天，有无常；山外有山，有他乡。跌了撞了，心还是会老地方。有离与城市的同样，错过了心爱的姑娘。宣告世界的那个理想已不知去向。为所欲为是情况。放不胜放是悲伤，后来再把成熟当偏方。当所有想的、说的、要的、爱的都记在心脏，行李箱里装不下我想去的远方。这来的、去的、给的、欠的，算一种褒奖。吹走的建筑，张开的至少还有光。把烦恼痛了、吞了、忍了、算了，不对别人讲。谁还没有辜负几段昂贵的时光？若男孩笑了、哭了、累了，说要去流浪，留下大人的模样，看岁月剪吧。会有个人成为你的远方。